Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition but before we get into today's competition guys like always we must go over the results of the previous competition so without further ado looking at the results here it looks like Mad Planet Guy absolutely took this one by storm with 11 votes with his object right here and yeah second um, was um, Exiled Neptunian they had 3 votes Mad Planet Guy had 11 and pretty much everyone else was either on one or two. So yeah, Mad Planet Guy absolutely dominated the last competition with his 55 can cry here. So yeah, massive congratulations to him. But again, a massive thank you to everyone who uh, sent in their objects for this competition. But without further ado, guys, let's now hop on to today's competition. Okay, everyone. So moving on to today's competition now, we're going to be doing Kepler-186F. So this is a planet 1.4 times Earth's mass, which is an estimate and 1.17 times its radius. It was supposedly the first Earth-like planet to be found in the Hatable zone of its star. Although it is said to be in the Hatable zone, its calculated temperature ranges fall close to the temperatures of Mars. So yeah, possible calculated uh, temperatures there. Yeah, not really the Earth-like conditions you would think. And yeah, massive thank you to uh, Stuck in 2D for uh, providing us with that little bit of information there. But yeah, let's get on to the objects now. So first up, we actually have Stuck in 2D's object. And unfortunately, we can only get a screenshot of it as apparently his game is currently corrupted. So it won't send it over um, properly or anything. So yeah, please see this screenshot on screen now. Um, and yeah, he also put that he's built his one. It's a cold Mars-like world with a dusty atmosphere and ice plains because of its distance from the star on the edge of the Haskell zone. Its highest temperatures are minus 40-ish. It also has sparse water vapor clouds, as you can see. So, yeah, guys, I'm looking at it right now, and obviously you guys will see it on the screen as well. Um, this object, Mars-like object, as you can see, with Mars dusty atmosphere. It's obviously got the little water vapor clouds there as well, which are pretty cool. But, yeah, there is it stuck in 2D's object. So, yeah, without further ado, now let's now move on to the next object in here. So, let's go ahead and open up the menu, see what we have got for us today. Okay, so we'll search um, 186. Okay, here, oh, I think I've got a copy of myself. Okay, let's see this. What's this look like? Yeah, I think that's a little broken, but I actually had a copy of it at one point. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, okay, so who have we got first? Okay, so this one is Mad Planet Guy's one. Okay, so let's go ahead and place his one here. Okay, ooh, ho, 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 okay. So we've got uh, Mad Planet Guy's one there. We'll, can get, uh, we'll look at them closer in detail in a minute. Next up, we've got um, Exiled Neptunian's one. We'll place his one there. Then we have Pluto Neons. We'll place his one next along there as well. I'm just placing them all down so we don't have to keep opening the menu. Uh, next up we have got... Whose is this one? Uh, this is uh, Vladazus. Put his one in there. Uh, next up we had Siren's one. Right there. And then lastly we have this one which is uh, Chensich's one. So let's go ahead and place his one in there. Okay, cool. Right, so now we'll have a closer look at them all. So yeah, here is my one. Obviously you can't vote for this one. I believe this is from an old version of the game as well. So um, it probably is a little broken. I mean, I'm not sure what's underneath all this. I think this object's probably from a, a good a good year or so ago now. Let's have a little look. Turn all that off. Yeah, so it looks pretty basic and bog standard under there. So yeah, there's my little copy of it, okay? So Kepler-184F. Right, next up we've got Mad Planet Guy's one here. So we can see straight away there's definitely a custom texture going on there. He also sent me a Word document file, so let's go ahead and see what he said. Okay, so this object took five hours to perfect. It has an imported texture and is uh, one of the best cases scenario for uh, the assumed cold exoplanet. I've used the lower size estimate and the upper mass estimate, which implies a solid rocky surface, not an oceana. Uh, I've gone with a theme of a young Earth for mine, so young craters filled with acidic water, the pH scale of 5 to 6, if anyone knows what the pH scale is. I've actually um, I've done a lot of stuff on that um, years ago, actually. Um, along with large volcanoes plastering the surface, it has an atmosphere that's thinner than Earth's, but contains much more CO2, keeping it nice and warm on the outer edge of its hatful zone. The same way Earth kept its warm CO2 atmosphere at 0 0.5 atm when it was not even 1 billion years old. Uh, the CO2 also mixes with the oceans on a much larger scale than Earth, which explains the acidic lakes. Okay. Uh, the planet's clouds are swirly yet sparse, as constant volcanic eruptions drive huge storms which rage across the surface for days at a time. The magnetic field is three times stronger than Earth's, mainly due to the giant young iron core which drives it. It's also the reason the volcanoes are so large. Uh, he couldn't add a magnetic field because the game is being buggy. Ah, that's fine, because we, really, we don't even have that switched on anyway. The black surface colour is due to the recently called lava lakes, which cover the surface 50 million years ago. Hope you enjoy the object. Hopefully it wasn't too long a read. Ooh woo. <laughs> you must say the ooh woo at the end, or you are small brain. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've said it for you. There you go. So yeah, you wanted me to say that. <laughs> cool. Right, so yeah, there is my Planet Guys one. So as we can see, 
It's got the volcanic areas on it looking pretty nice indeed. Let's actually have a little look underneath all of the action. So we'll go on appearance. Turn all that off. So there's a real good look at this. You can see the black areas of the dried lava. It looks completely different with that atmosphere switched off. That blue really fades out the black areas. But yeah, here you go. So you can see very, very young sort of formed planet. As you can see, I really like the volcanic effects with like the little crater bits. So it's very glowing, hot and spicy there. Looking very nice indeed. I like the craters on it as well. But yeah, there we are. So there is... It all, if you remove that water, it kind of reminds me of the uh, surface of Pluto. Or something. Maybe he did use a bit of that surface um, texture as inspiration. I'm not sure. But yeah, there you go. So there's cloud, atmosphere on. So there is his Kepler 184F by Mad Planet Guy there. Okay, cool. Right, next up we have got this one. So this one was Exiled Neptunians 1. So as we can see here, it's also going with a similar sort of theme. So you can see there's definitely a black area underneath it. It's got more of a greenish atmosphere there. So it's got, um, actually, it's actually black water. Okay, so it's going with that acidic sort of water style that Mad Planet Guy mentioned about in his one. So if we look behind it, as you can see, it looks like it's got a frozen polar cat bit there, north and south, yep. Okay, so yeah, frozen um, dark water. I'm guessing that's, is that frozen? Minus 30, yes, that's frozen. Yeah, frozen blacked out water. Looking very nice indeed. So yeah, there is um, Exiled Neptunians, Kepler 184F. Okay. Right, next up we have got this one. So this is, who's, who's is this one? Um, let's have a look. It doesn't have a name in it. Uh, who have we got here? So Kepler... Okay, so this one here is... Okay, so this is Pluto Neon's one. Okay, cool. So yeah, here's Pluto Neon's one. So as we can see, it's going with a more pinkish sort of a colour theme on it here. So have a little look underneath the atmosphere and stuff on this one as well. So we can see it's got more, yeah, more of a pinkish colour. Um, yeah, I'm liking it, I have to say. It's got, also got the pink water, so it also could be an acidic sort of version of water. Not fully the water we would have on Earth yet. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty interesting design on that. I do like the mixes of the white and the pinks in there as well giving you that sort of effect the atmosphere i think blends in quite well i do like the clouds on it as well so yeah it's uh it's an earth-like planet in the making right here so yeah what do you guys think of that one see they've got the nice white atmosphere to go with it as well all right who have we got next so this object here this is from because uh, his vlad Zeus. okay so he's gone with a more ocean heavy version of this world so if we look underneath so yeah very very ocean heavy you can see it's got some islands on it but yeah it is mostly all ocean as we can see, nice light blue atmosphere to go with it. Also got the white clouds um, rolling there as well. But yeah, other than that, yeah, pretty much a very, very heavy ocean world. So we can see it got a lot more water on it compared to the other um, objects as well there. Alrighty. Next up, we got uh, Siren's object here. So we can see he's also gone for an Earth-like sort of build, more ocean heavy than the other objects. So as we can see, it's got a sort of light, palish green shades mixed with white in there, a bit of brown in there by the looks of things as well. It's also got a more purpley shade of water. So again, another another example of the different coloured darkened water. So we can see that's a theme that we've seen on a lot of them, like Mad Planet Guys, when we saw it on uh, the few objects back there. It was Pluto Neon's one. And then we saw it on Exiled Neptunians as well, where they're going with that darker sort of water colour theme and i think it's uh we can see the trend and i think it's yeah i think it's really cool so yeah clouds and atmosphere back on it as well so i think that's quite a nicely designed world we can see he's got the storm clouds on it as well they're my personal favorite clouds but yeah there is siren's version of kepler 184 fc so, yeah, nice nice stuff indeed there so you can see it's still got that earth-like sort of look to it but if you look deeper it may not fully be as earth-like as you think with that darkened ocean so it does look really cool right and then next up lastly we have got Chensich one. So I hope I'm saying your name right. So here it is. So it looks like, like stuck in 2D's one, it's going with a more Mars-like appearance with a more deserty, sort of cold desert appearance. So yeah, I'd say it does look um, it does look pretty cool as well. So we can see, again, going with that darker ocean theme that everyone seems to be going with. So there, looking good there. And obviously the more Mars-like colours and stuff on it there. Obviously, I'm guessing it's fairly cold in temperature. Minus 141 on this one. So, yeah, pretty crazy stuff indeed. But, yeah, a lot more barren-looking world. Obviously, yeah, still um, still matching that sort of Mars theme that Stuckin uh, mentioned there. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. He's also got the ice planes on it, like Stuckin had on his one as well. So, this one is probably the closest to Stuckin's compared to all of them. But, yeah, there is Chensich's one. So, yeah, there we are, guys. That is all of the objects. But further, without further ado, we'll go through them all once again. So yeah, first up we have Mad Planet Guys one here. This one had the custom imported um, texture. And it also had like the volcano areas, which looked really, really awesome. So yeah, that was his one. Then we had this one here. This was Exiled Neptunians one, going with the darkened oceans and the uh, very rocky sort of appearance on the surface there. Then we have Pluto Neons one, going with the more pinkish and white shaded one, looking really, really cool as well. 
So here is his one. So yeah, looking good there. I really do like the pinkish shade on it. I think that's pretty cool. Then we had Vladazeus's one, which was the very ocean-heavy version, which had um, a few islands on it, but yeah, mostly all ocean there. Then we had Siren's one, which had the nice storm cloud on it there, going over the more greenish sort of uh, landscape. Also with the dark ocean theme, though, we saw on pretty much all of these. And then lastly, we had this one here from Chenswitch, which is like Stuckin's one, which um, has a very deserty appearance on it. Um, almost in that Mars like theme. So, yeah, there we are, guys. That is the full lineup of all the objects. So, yeah, what do you think of all of those? Obviously, let's go ahead and get rid of my one now. Let's get them all lined up. And, yeah, there we are, guys. So, what do you guys think of that? So. Yeah, make sure if you would like to vote it for this competition, guys, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And yeah, keep an eye on the announcements tab as that's where we'll have all of the vote listings. And yeah, if you'd like to vote, please make sure you only vote once. And also, you can't vote for yourself. So yeah, please keep that in mind. And yeah, good luck to everyone who has submitted for this competition, guys. Yeah, nice um, load of objects we got for today. And yeah, I gotta say, it's a real, real, real nice mixture here. So it'll be quite difficult. I'll be very interested to see who can uh, come out on top of this one. But yeah, that all that all said and done, guys. A massive thank you for watching today's video. Good luck to everyone in the competition, guys. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Help us on a journey to 22,000 subscribers. And yeah, see if we can go with 30 likes on today's video, guys. But yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.